Hi, I'd like to introduce uh, you to amino acids. And amino in a mean group is simply just a nitrogen. And by acid, we're talking about the organic acid group or a carboxylic acid group, COOH. These are both functional groups found in the same molecule. We turn these amino acids. Now, the basic structure of amino acids is really quite simple. And it says an amine group connected to a carboxylic acid group. Now, in between, it's not that the nitrogen's bonded directly to this carbon. We have here a CH group. And then down below, since carbon needs a fourth bond, we're going to call this a side chain. Now, quite frankly, there are an infinite number of amino acids. Because as long as you have this structure, you can hook anything up here you want. Everything from as small as an H for going on to hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of carbons, nitrogens, oxygens, sulfurs, fluorines, it doesn't matter. However, most people with the biology background go, hey, wait a minute, there are 20 common amino acids, meaning uh, to be egotistical about us, about humans. So if we have this basic structure, and we go ahead and vary the side chain by saying, let's put a hydrogen here. That gives us one amino acid. A CH3 group, a methyl group, gives us another and so on. You'll find a little table with the 20 common amino acids on here. And they're just broken down as to if they're acidic, if they're basic, stuff like that. I do want to point out that it is very common to see this form of the amino acid, but also recognize this has a lone pair of electrons on there. It's a nitrogen. And the right group says it is an acid, so it has the ability to go ahead and act like an acid to donate an H. So if the molecule loses an H plus on one side and it comes on to the other one, we're going to end up with an amino acid in a slightly different form. And that is we're going to have NH3 plus at this end, NH3 plus, because an H plus is coming over here. We're going to have our CH group. And then at the end, we're not going to have COOH. We're going to have COO minus, because the H plus has left. So be prepared to see these in both fashions. Let me go ahead and have you take a look at glycine. If you locate glycine on the little table here of the amino acids, you'll see that it's absolutely the simplest amino acid we can have because glycine has that side chain that's just simply an H. We typically use abbreviations. Glycine, GLY, or just simply G now. So there are 20 amino acids. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. We've used, oh, this different letters for different amino acids, even though the names start with the same. So you can just have a look at that.